We are so, so proud and excited to be bringing you this launch here today. Multilingual is a hot, hot topic, and it's something that we've always been working on. We've always been building towards, and this is a very, very big release um, at Ultimate. So today we're going to be talking about how you can go global how you can work with Ultimate to launch your customer support in 109 languages. Now, this is a hot, hot theme uh, in customer support in 22. It's, it's always been a hot theme, but we've seen a lot, a lot of push towards multilingual, a lot of push towards global customer support teams and having that amazing customer experience for every customer, no matter where they're contacting you from. So this is something that we're very excited to be bringing to you. And before we jump in, there's going to be a lot that we talk about here today. But before we jump in, I'm just going to go for some housekeeping rules while we wait for people to join the session and join us here today. So as some quick housekeeping rules, at the bottom of your screen, you should have a bunch of different engagement icons that you can use. Everything on your screen is resizable, by the way. You can also full screen the screen. So take a moment now to set yourself up uh, so you can make the most out of the launch, out of the customers' uh, roundtable sessions, out of the product demo, so you can really, really see everything that we have to offer today. Um, most exciting icons, just to point you to them, you've got the live chat icon. So you use that at any point throughout the session today to ask your questions. We will be collecting all the questions that you ask and have a Q&A at the end. And I'm going to keep calling your attention back to that live chat icon. We're going to answer every single question that we can in the Q&A and anything that we can't hit today, we will respond to you via email. So we're collecting all of your insights all of your questions because it is very, very important to us what you want to know. We've got a bunch of different other engagement tools. You can see some icons there. Most importantly, I want to put your attention to the fact that our team has curated some really, really great supporting content that support, you know, the multilingual release today, but that also talk a little bit about the 2022 trends um, that we're going to be talking about today as a whole. So please do if you're interested in anything that we're talking about today, click on those icons, download the content, open it in other tabs if you're interested in extra reading. And finally, most importantly, your feedback matters. So let us know if you like what you see, if you don't like what you see. We do these product launches every quarter. It's a big part of who we are, bringing you the most exciting things in conversational AI every single quarter. So any feedback that you have, it will just help us be better. So we're really looking for that. Now, and then a little bit about who your speakers are today. You've got me slap bang in the middle. I'm Sarah. I'm one of the co-founders at Alton and the CEO, and I'm very, very excited to just be welcoming you in. I'll be handing over to my co-founder and our CEO, Ratu, later. He'll be walking you through the multilingual release, and James, who will be showing you an incredible, incredible product demo, the best product demo that I've ever seen of our solutions. So I'm really, really excited to show you that. But much more importantly, it's not just us here today. We've got three incredible experts who run multilingual global customer support operations in incredible brands. And they're here to talk today about their multilingual journey, how they use Ultimate, and answer some of those you know, really important questions. We understand that a lot of you are at the start of your journey with automation or just exploring. And that's why it's so exciting to be able to bring some experts on, your sh on our show today to show you how it all works. All right, so there's a lot of content. We want to dive right in, but here's a quick, quick poll because we'd love to understand what brought you here today. Are you interested in just scaling out your customer support? You know, you're about to go through a big period of growth, perhaps. Are you interested in scaling? Are you, have you followed our product launches in general? Or are you just general, uh, generally interested in meeting Ultimate's new multilingual virtual agent, understanding what a multilingual virtual agent is and how it could work? It is really cool, so that, then stay for the demo if that's you. Or are you, uh, are you really at the start of your journey? Are you looking to educate yourself about the industry? Please do click. This information is important for us, and it will help us curate the content that we put together for you over the coming, over the coming months and quarters. But without further ado, we have a very, very punchy session today, so I'm not going to take up too much of your time. But the plan today, in a nutshell, is you're going to introduce our multilingual virtual agent to the world, to all of you, show you how it works. That's gonna be Ray 2 session. I'm very excited for that. Then most importantly, you're gonna hear from your peers. So real exciting experts and brands that use uh, our multilingual virtual agents already. 
uh, to provide global customer support and make sure that that experience is amazing every single time. And finally, you get to see what I think is the coolest ultimate demo that has ever been recorded in history. You get to see the multilingual virtual agents live. And something that we're not going to shout out too much, but I do want to quietly, quietly reference, do meet our new brand. This is the first day of our new brand release. So all the colors, all the visuals, if you like it, give us feedback. If you don't like it, give us feedback. If you want to see more, jump onto our website. This is a big day for Ultimate, not just for the product team, but for the whole company as a whole. We've created a new brand that is much more true to what Ultimate is as we as a business start to go global. And we're going to be providing a lot more information on that in the coming weeks on our LinkedIn and on our social. So if you're interested in hearing more about our story, do follow us there. But if we haven't met before, hi, welcome, welcome. We're excited to have you. This is Ultimate's product launch. And what is Ultimate? We are the world's most powerful virtual agent platform for customer support. We are the number one virtual rated platform on G2. We have been since they launched the category over a year ago. This is something we're very proud of. This is the number one award that we keep, keep, keep coming back to at Ultimate because it's not by a you know uh, an award assigned by an industry researcher or an analyst this is this is as voted by our customers right so our real customers quarter after quarter are voting us as the number one rated virtual agent platform globally. We are so proud of this. If we have any customers on the call, and I know we do have some, thank you so much for this. This means the world to all of us. And not only do we have clearly the most supportive customers who really, really partner with us on their automation journey, but we also get to work with some incredible CX leading brands around the world. You should hopefully be able to recognize some of these amazing logos. Hopefully you've been dazzled by their customer experiences that they provided and, and the work that they do. And now you know that, that um, some of that work at least is powered by Ultimate behind the scenes. And so why does Ultimate exist? Ultimate exists to upgrade your customer support. We fundamentally believe that AI and automation technologies do not need to be scary. They are there to work in harmony with humans and in the way that we all work and love to work today. They're there to make the, the work much more joyful for support teams and the experience is much more joyful for customers. And in a nutshell, we're here to try and embed that technology into how support works today and really upgrade your customer support. And we're essentially a real virtual agent. When we say virtual agent, this isn't just a buzzword. We are a virtual agent. We are a user in all of these incredible CRM partner uh, platforms that we partner up with. And we exist on every single digital support channel. So if it's chat, if it's messaging, if it's social, any form of social media, if it's email, uh, ticketing, we are virtual agents are there and they work seamlessly and harmoniously across every single platform that you support. All right, that's enough about us. Thank you for coming today, and, and I hope you like that little intro. But much more importantly, we're all here today to talk about how we can go global, how we can provide multilingual support or support in 109 languages. So let's have a moment and, and think and talk about why is global customer support such a hot trend in 2022? What has happened over the past years and what is happening this year that makes this conversation so important? And I mean, there's a multitude of trends that have come into play here, but this, we've picked out some of the big, big nutshells. And in a way, there is kind of, there are challenges in customer support today. We all know that consumers really, really prioritize uh, instant support, for example. And now that digital support has become standard, everybody's expecting instant gratification. We've got a stat here, 60% of customers expect instant uh, responses to their support requests. And honestly, that number is only going to increase and increase as the younger generations uh, get more into the market and, and get their, uh, grow their buying power. I mean, we're seeing it already, right? Um, but much more excitingly, yes, there are challenges, but much more excitingly for Ultimate, and this is really where we sit, we sit in the land of opportunity, right? Every brand today knows that global markets are a huge opportunity. And now that we're much, much, much more used to living and buying digitally, we know that we can actually serve customers all over the world. But uh, this stat I love, which is that 72% of customers are much more like, say they're much more likely to buy from a brand 
if they have help and information in their own language, right? So this, this information is what is putting support teams on the front lines of their business's growth. Brands want to grow, they want to internationalize, they want to take over the world, so do we. <laughs> that's, that, is, that is an ambition, that is exciting, but we know that that's not possible unless you provide support and helpful information in your customer's own language, right? 72% of customers say that. And most excitingly, maybe for Ultimate, is that and 90% of businesses are planning to use automation or to use AI in their support as part of that journey, right? Customers are getting really, really savvy about how to interact with conversational interfaces. And likewise, brands are getting, and, and support teams are getting much, much more sophisticated in how they use these technologies. And this stat here is 90% of brands and companies expect to adopt automation in their customer support by the end of this year. And I, and I really believe that going global is a big driver for that change. So we know that support teams want to go global. We know that their businesses and the revenue teams are pushing them to do this and making this possible. And that's brilliant, right? But it's not easy, okay? In, traditionally, these were your options. You could hire human agents if you wanted to really scale and internationalize, but that can be hard, right? We all know it can be really costly in terms of time and money to bring on huge support teams of agents. And for a lot of the brands that Ultimate works with, at least, they're growing too quickly <laughs> for this change. It is very, very hard to bring on massive, massive support teams, to train them up and to get them working, by the way, in all of the languages that you want to serve. Um, sometimes your business might be growing faster than that. At least uh, we've experienced that for a lot of amazing companies that we get to work with. You can also scale up with BPOs. A lot of our customers do do this, and I think um, this makes sense to add as part of kind of your repertoire, but it is a very high cost and traditional way of, of scaling up your support internationally. And at the end of the day, you do lose some control. You're essentially handing over your, your customer experience to a third party and then partnering with that third party and, and, and trading them and, and working with their teams. And that is great, but a lot of the brands that we work with would love to understand how they can control uh, the customer experience and really be able to iterate on it much faster, right? And experiment on it much faster, just like all the different business areas um, that they serve. And finally, we all know that basic chatbots, basic tools have been out there in the market for a while and they haven't been adopted at scale, right? Because the Customer experience at the end of the day is what really matters. When you have FAQ style chatbots, very unpersonalized, rigid responses, one size fits all customer experiences, at the end of the day, that's not good enough. And at least for the logos that I showed uh, initially, all those incredible CX leading brands, that's really not an option in terms of how they want to provide their customer support. So we know that the translation layers of the past and the static flows uh, that didn't use AI weren't really working. And we're really really excited to be showing you what's next in the space but before i hand it over to my fabulous co-founder and our ceo reti to show you to introduce you to ultimate's multilingual virtual agent here's another quick poll right we've talked a lot about what we've seen at ultimate as the biggest challenges in scaling your customer support but at the end of the day every brand is unique right and every customer is unique that's a bit of a mantra at ultimate we have to build our products in a way that treats every brand and every customer in a unique way but in terms of your unique challenges what is what is the challenge facing you scaling today right is it adapting to those huge spikes in volumes that really fast growth is it the challenge around multilingual you know maybe your business is already global but your support team isn't is it that you're dealing with high response time, so you really want to improve that kind of CSAT, that customer experience? Or is it rather that you're just at the beginning of the year looking forward to a huge period of growth and you want to make sure that your support team scales too? Please do select those answers. It will help our product roadmap and it will help us also curate the content that we provide all of you. But without further ado, let me hand it over to my fabulous, fabulous co-founder, our CEO, Reti. Kiitos paljon, Sara. Mä oon aivan täpinöissään täällä tänään. Wait, that's finished. Sorry, that's finished. I've been talking to our AI lately so much. I, I forgot that I need to switch languages. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, first of all, before I start, there's a question in the chat. Will the, this be recorded? Yes. Will it be sent it to you? Yes. So if you can't stay the whole time, I'll be a little bit sad, but don't worry. We'll send it over to you. 
So let's get going. Before we hear from the industry leaders and we see the actual demo, I'm going to quickly explain what is it that we're actually launching today? Because I am I'm very proud, I'm very happy, I'm very excited. Uh, we put a lot, a lot of effort into this um, product. So without further ado, we're launching today our new virtualization platform that can provide support in 109 languages. What does this mean? Well, I come from the land of the north, which is Finland, uh, which is a very marginalized language. Uh, and we started from that background. And that, that's always been in part of our DNA and languages has been so close to my heart. So with this launch, we're embracing the diversity of these languages and of this world. Um, so it has almost, a, for me at least, a bit of a higher meaning just than just the cool technology. So virtual agent that knows 109 languages that works across channels. It works in chat, it works, it works in messaging, and it works in email and ticketing. Very powerful stuff. So um, what is it? What's kind of behind the scenes? How is this even, even possible? Um, we did a big launch earlier today on the AI side. And what we did is in the past, we had these multilingual models that could learn any language, but you'd still have to have uh, a model per language. So if you have 15 different languages, you might have 15 different AI models behind the scenes or manage 15 different bots. They work really accurately, but let's be honest, there's a lot of effort to manage that army of virtual agents. Or on the other side, you might have vendors that the AI is built just to kind of handle English, and then you put a translation layer on top of it. But we can all imagine if I would be here in Germany, uh, walking around the streets, uh, trying to translate everything from German to Finnish and backwards, I couldn't do anything. So with this launch, we're combining the best of both worlds. We're having one AI model that can be trained in one language. I can train in English. I can ask a question in German or in Finnish, and it will understand me. And that is super powerful, and that is extremely scalable. Another thing that we're bringing in, this is a little thing, but this is a cool thing to know, is that as you want to provide the most personal experience for consumers, it's important to know where to start. So we have also language detection coupled with this launch. So when a customer comes in, either we can use the language of your CRM that's already configured so we don't change your processes, or we can just pick up the language from that sentence. So if I start in Finnish, sorry, I did, our AI would pick it up and answer in Finnish. So what does this mean, right? So it's a virtual agent in 109 languages. I hope we've said this enough, but we'll say, say it 100 times. 109 languages, 109 times, 109 languages, one virtual agent. Of course, this means that the setup and the training and the management is multi, multi, so much, so much easier than any vendor in this market. And that's what matters. You don't want to manage AIs and translations when you want to scale your support. That's, that's all, all our problem. And now we're bringing it to you to make it super easy. And it means, yes, reduced costs, absolutely. Uh, but also it means your ability to be at the global stage. You don't have to worry about having different providers in different markets uh, or just being bottlenecked by, hey, we want to launch a new language or a new market. And then the technology says, no, that, that's never, never can't be the case. Um, so that's why it's so, so, so important to support really the diversity of languages also on the technology level. Coupled with this, of course, while you have these virtual agents talking in all these different languages, half of them you don't even know, um, you kind of want to know what's going on. So coupled with this launch, we have completely rebuilt our analytics engine. This is not just for the multilingual, but it's really showcases power here. So available today for all of our customers or anyone who's interested in the multilingual approach of Ultimate, um, you can now utilize our new analytics platform where you can deep dive, you can see the different markets, different languages, you can filter different intents. It's really powerful. It's just a start, but it's already really powerful. And then on the coming months, we're going to bring in this to, to all of our customers who might not use the, the kind of the power of multilingual, but you will get access to the power of the analytics. And this is something that we want to work really close with you because we've been working for the past couple of quarters on the analytics side. 
By the way, big shout out to Marcus Müller, our VP Analytics, for leading this charge. Um, we've seen that I feel like in this industry, it's still things are a bit undefined. So we want to be the driving force here to really, together with you, define what are the value points of virtual agents and how do we make it easy for you to see exactly what's going on and then pull that into your business because that's where it's used uh, at its best. But that's enough. Uh, There's going to be a cool demo later. It's really going to showcase the, the, the power of the product. But let's jump into our roundtable session with our three amazing panelists. Um, I'll give you a second to open up your mics. Uh, so today, a, a 10 second intro for each, and then I'm going to jump into questions. So maybe let's start with uh, Sophie. You want to start introducing yourself quickly. Hey there, I'm Sophie. I'm the customer service automation manager at PureLay. This is a Hawaiian inspired jewelry brand from Germany. And a little fun fact about me is that I played the drums for almost four years. Wow, awesome, awesome. Um, I have actually, I have a musical family, but I can't play any instruments. Um, so I, I know how difficult it is. Uh, then we have Sindri, quick intro. Hi, nice to meet you all. Uh, my name is Sindri. Uh, I come from uh, Iceland there and uh, I'm uh, working as a CRM analyst in the customer experience team. Uh, fun fact about me, I, I am an Icelandic, uh, but I used to live in uh, Shanghai, China for four years. So, uh, yeah. Nice. Talk about diversity of languages. Uh, I love Iceland. Iceland, by the way, it's just an amazing place. Uh, and then last but not least, we have Danielle. Um, maybe a quick intro and something we don't know about you. Sure. Hey, everyone. I'm Danielle Delosier. I am the director of our guest relations team here at home to go Fun fact about me, I love traveling, and I had the chance to spend the holidays this year in Lapland, so northern uh, Norway and Finland. So, Reitu, I could have used your Finnish. That would have been helpful. <laughs> Absolutely. It was a great place. Uh, next time. Next time. Next time. Well, now that Daniel, I have you here. Maybe maybe we can start and get to it. Um, let's talk about a little bit of the big picture, the scaling support. Um, what have been maybe your biggest challenges uh, recently, just to scale the whole support organization? Sure. So being in the travel industry, we deal with a lot of seasonality, and this is especially challenging in markets like Europe, where we're dealing not only with already different languages and time zones, but also maybe different travel patterns and behaviors country to country. So for example, some of our guests in Germany, it's January now, are planning their annual vacation, where we might see our guests in Italy planning their summer vacation only one or two months before. So it's really difficult to make sure that we can kind of staff to um, still provide this personalized experience, especially as Corona times have really had uh, guests demanding more and more flexibility. So putting all of those things together, um, we actually have gone ahead and structured our teams to have dedicated market experts to respond to these needs and keep things personalized. Awesome. Um, also love the diversity of cultures. Uh, Germans like to plan their holidays early, which is good. Um, to stay on the same topic, uh, maybe Sindri, you want to give your take. I know you work in, a, in, in airlines, which is very, I think, a timely uh, industry right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we deal also in a lot of seasonality, so uh, I, I, I echo Daniel's thoughts there. Uh, but uh, Iceland Air as an airline, we, we of course, were hit hard uh, throughout the COVID pandemic. And, um, you know, our business um, in the past past year has, past two years has basically transformed from, you know, um, flying uh, on a very regular basis to servicing customers with, you know, changes and cancellations to their bookings, um, you know, extending the status and points of our loyalty members. Um, and that meant a lot of support requests to our to our team, and so we had no choice but to scale. And that's where, you know, we started working with um, with Ultimate AI, and uh, and we also, you know, in support of that, have automated more of our you know support processes like uh, issuing travel credits and refunds. So, um, yeah, we keep uh, keep trying to innovate for for our customers to try to, to provide uh, better support and. Uh, uh, but but scaling is definitely an issue that is always always present and, and uh, that has helped us throughout uh, this period. Yeah, I remember. I think we started to work with you this spring when COVID hit, like literally right after. Mm -hmm. So we just went and we did it live, and, and it was been great. You're here, amazing. Um, exactly. Then Sophie, um, high growth e-commerce, uh, how scale for your support organization? 
Um, yeah, I would say the biggest challenge is that our company grows continuously, as well as the customers' experiences and expectations. So we're facing a high ticket volume that we can't handle by our customer service agents only. Um, and therefore, we provide 24-7 self-service via the Ultimate AI bot, but also through our FAQs so that customers have the chance to get their answers to simple requests and questions by themselves. And uh, we also do have an internal knowledge base for the agents so that they can do basically the same if they're struggling with um, something. Awesome. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's, it's a positive problem, but it's a problem uh, in growth. We also experienced some of that uh, last year. So maybe going maybe deeper dive into the actual multilingual aspect. Daniel, you said that you work in the travel industry. Um, why is multilingual support important uh, for you? And why now? Sure. Um, for us, so we have the world's largest selection of vacation rentals, and we maintain 23 local apps and websites. So um, you can imagine last year we had guests contacting us from 120 countries around the world. So it was really critical, like what I said before, for us to really be available in there. And so um, in addition to the staffing that we were able to do, we also introduced um, a new AI virtual agent based on the ultimate platform, affectionately named Sunny. And Sunny has really helped us um, continue this personalization at all hours of the day. I think one of the things that we've liked the most is that Sunny can chat with both our English and our German uh, guests. And if somebody's not available for them to then interact with live, um, Sunny gets all of that information, creates a case in our ticketing system, and hands that over to the next agent that's available when they sign on. And generally, that's done all within 24 hours. So it's really good that we can still be very active in guests like booking processes um, with the, the help of Sunny and that they can still provide that personalized service. Yeah, wow, 120 countries. Uh, it's not even a question, should we? It's, it's basically, we <laughs> just have to do something. Um, thank you so much, Daniel, for the kind words. Um, Sindri, you talk, scraped Icelandic, but uh, languages is a thing for you. Yes, definitely. Uh, we are, of course, uh, a, a global company. We, are, we operate flights to and from Iceland uh, to, to Europe and North America. And um, we also you know, fly um, our passengers from Europe over to North America by connecting uh, via Iceland. And, um, and finally, we also operate on the domestic side within Iceland. So um, multilingual support is a definite need for us. Um, and uh, it's especially important for uh, the Icelandic market now, who has been demanding a, a virtual agent after seeing, seeing the results that we had with our English uh, virtual agent. And uh, so we want to be able to, to, to uh, you know, solve that. Uh, it's a tricky problem because Icelandic is a difficult language, as we know, but, uh, but uh, that's where we're, you know, headed and, and uh, truly excited to, to launch that with uh, this new technology. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I just love the Icelandic language. It's such a special place in my heart. Um, all the Nordic languages, I'm a big champion. Um, keep them, keep them uh, a topic. So Sophie, then high growth. I, I, I bet there's some some relation to languages and, and growing markets. How, how what is yeah. multilingual support for you? Yeah, so um, currently we offer support in German, English, French, and Italian, and we're still in the progress of entering new markets. Um, so we really want to provide customer centric support by corresponding with the customers in their native language. Um, we just want to be as close to the customer as possible, whether it's the agent or the bot. Perfect. Thank you so much. And then I have a last question. There's a, there's a lot of people from the industry uh, listening in. Um, and thank you for showing up, hundreds and hundreds of you. Um, and you are kind of the, the, the pioneers uh, of introducing new technologies uh, through really tough times. Maybe, Danielle, you want to give like your expert tips like directly from the front line for the other CS leaders uh, who are here today? Sure, absolutely. So definitely technology and the logistics pieces that we talked about are important, but I would encourage everybody not to forget about the human piece. So you might be communicating and um, with a guest that is planning their annual leave in France that has different emotional needs or communication needs that may differ from our customers in the US planning their first spring break with their family. So as you expand multinationally and establish those market experts, make sure you create a feedback loop within your team to learn from their expertise and really um, continue to evolve, not just how, but kind of the way that you provide that service as well. 
love that point. I think we talk, today we're talking about technology, but it's it's not about the technology. It's really about the humans. Um, us, Sindri, what about what about you? Your tips? Yeah, I would say um, that that uh, it's really important to keep in mind that when you're designing these um, automated uh, and, and self-service solutions, that uh, you always have to start with you know uh, the customer experience and and work backwards from there. Um, and so throughout that process, you have to constantly ask yourself, what problems are you solving for the customer, and uh, focus on on building from there because um, that's that will that will. Uh, definitely have an impact on this uh, experience and 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 uh, basically the overall um, success of your of your automated solution. That's absolutely a big learning for for me too. Building this product, every support organization is is different. You can't put a cookie cutter them um, into um, the way of a bot should, for example, work. So it's kind of also our responsibility to enable that uh, customer experience first. Then uh, Sophie. Uh, what about your tips directly from the front lines? Yeah, so for me, especially also as being a leader, um, my team, uh, my tip is to build a scalable team. So um, we really improved efficiency by reviewing and optimizing internal processes. Um, we built three pillars. These are people, automation, and reportings. So um, to ultimately create a great customer experience, it was really important um, for us to focus on these three pillars equally. That, that's that's perfect. Um, people, technology, perfect marriage. Thank you, all of you. Um, we're need, we're going to go into talk a little bit about the roadmap and what's coming up. But really, big shout out to you, um, everybody who's been listening. Hope you got a good tips uh, directly from the front lines uh, and great experience from Sophie, Sindri, and Danielle. Thank you so much. And, and next, I'm going to do a brief brief section. Um, uh, next, we're going to do actually uh, go for the demo, but then we're going to briefly talk about what's coming after but before that um we have a little poll for you so we want to offer honestly we just want to offer you honest help so if you answer to the upcoming poll if you want to participate in a raffle to get a consultation uh, session ultimate um sorry there's a little bit of a background noise. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. There's an echo. So if you want to have a quick uh, consultation from ultimate experts, no sales at all, we're going to bring our solution architects to help kind of design and understand what is going on in your support today and how an automation might fit in. Um, even if you have used some of our supported technologies, we can even run a little analysis on your data. And after that, if you don't want to talk with us ever again, that's all fine. We honestly just want to help. Uh, so there's going to be a quick poll um, where you can answer if this is interesting. So now I'm going to give you two seconds quickly to answer. Would this be interesting for you? Completely free. We're bringing our experts just to talk to you. Either you want to go, either you already have a solution in place, do you want to get some tips and um, kind of a third, uh, different perspective, you're thinking about it, or you're actually kind of now already on track of deploying something. Anything goes, we're here literally just to help. And now the thing we've been waiting for, uh, uh, all this, all this uh, product launch, which will be the demo itself. So I'm gonna hand over to our amazing, amazing James Longbottom that has been helping our custom customers, but also everyone who's interested in these solutions to really understand would ultimately be a good fit. Uh, so I'm going to give the floor to James. James, go ahead, uh, show what the virtual agent can do. Hi, everyone. I'm James, Solution Consultant at Ultimate. Today, I'll be showing you a demo of our new multilingual virtual agent. With Ultimate's new multilingual virtual agent, you can easily scale to provide customer support in up to 109 languages. Let's start by chatting with the virtual agent in English. I want to ask the virtual agent, how do I pay for my bags online before traveling? And great, I've got a reply and it's really helpful. Now let's ask a question in Chinese. I'm going to ask, where is my order? There we go, with the Chinese question, and it responds in Chinese. 
But let's say I'm just traveling in China. So the conversation starts in Chinese, but I actually speak English. That's fine. I can just ask if the virtual agent speaks English and change the language that way. And there we go. The answer is now in English. By the way, with our multilingual AI, the virtual agent can understand 109 languages, even if you've only trained it in one or two. In this case, we haven't trained it specifically for French, but let's see what happens when I ask the same question in that language. There we go. And we get the right answer. So it understands what I ask, but the reply comes from a language that we've set up as the default, which in this case is English. And it's not limited to live chat. Let's send an email, this time in German, about verifying my address. and it replies correctly in German. Now let's take a look at how you can set up a virtual agent that understands multiple languages. The first step is to create a new language. In our bot settings, we'll go to languages. We already have English, Chinese, and German that have been added. So let's create French here as well. We'll select the language and then choose an icon. The icon will serve as a quick visual indicator when managing languages or regions. So for easy reference, I'll add the French flag. We always recommend duplicating replies if you've already built them out in another language. The step here with the locale info is optional. If you already have your user's language or region information available in your CRM, we can use that to trigger replies in the appropriate language. Just add the same uh, language or region identifier that you use in your CRM. If you don't have this, the virtual agent will automatically detect the language based on the messages from your customer, as we just saw earlier. Now hit add. It's that simple. Remember how we checked the box for duplicating replies? Well, let's click export to get an Excel file where we can translate existing replies into French. Now, I already have a translated file with me, so I'll go ahead and import them back into the new language. There we go. If you train it well in any one language, then adding every additional language takes up to 75% less training effort. This way, you can add up to 109 languages, duplicate and translate existing replies, and provide truly global customer support. Now, you may be wondering where and how you can manage all this data. On the intents page, you can easily manage all intents in all languages. You can filter by language to view them one at a time. You can monitor each intense usage in the last seven days. You can glance over the number of active replies in each intent. And you can also duplicate individual replies from one language to another or set individual replies as active or inactive. And at the language level, we can set our new language as active. By setting languages and replies as active or inactive, you can keep the virtual agent live while you're working on adding new languages. And now we're good to go. If customers chat in French, the virtual agent can reply in French. Remember, if you don't add a new language, your virtual agent can still understand 109 languages and give replies using a default language. Up to 109 languages in one single virtual agent means you spend up to 75% less effort in training and building new languages after the first one. And you can have it all, best-in-class AI, instant support, and the easiest setup and automation management imaginable in 109 languages. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, James. Um, that was that was mind blowing. I'm super excited to be able to use all these different languages uh, in the same virtual agent. So briefly, I'm going to spend one minute because there's so many questions. So we're going to answer as many as we can, but a little bit of what is coming on. So first, of course, we're going to double down on this multilingual. Um, I don't want to be the person who always say it's just the start, but it is just the beginning. Um, we're going to make it easier and easier and easier to manage more and more languages, markets, and continents um, from one single dashboard. Secondly, like I said, analytics, big push for us, um, not only the multilingual side, but really kind of be able to customize and, and, and deep dive into the data and then finally export everything into your own BI systems or data warehousing. I want to be at the end of the year and say, Ultimate has the best analytic solution uh, that all of our customers can trust. Um, and and that, that requires the help of you. So all of our customers or new potential customers, ch chime in, let's have a conversation, let's build together. Big thing, this is actually one of my kind of personal favors for upcoming uh, launches is our ticket expansion of our ticket automation. So last summer we launched email support so we can now handle natively emails, just emails and respond in emails. Uh, across these CRM platforms uh, with Zendesk and Salesforce to start. Because of popular demand from our existing customers, but also new ones, we're bringing this to Freshdesk. So all this power of 109 languages, really extensive, powerful virtual agent platform available in Freshdesk email. We're also increasing the impact of that uh, solution by enabling back office integrations, um, conditional flows, creating a lot of cool workflows. How do you want to manage your email backlog. And the final thing is a new feature set, a new collaboration tools for our Dialog Builder. So Dialog Builder is the place where majority of our customers spend their time designing and ideating new kind of workflows that they want to automate. We're going to bring in collaboration into it because you might be in five different continents working with different languages or different workflows. So we're going to make that easy. We're going to bring in draft mode. We're going to be, be able to see different versions, revert back all that good stuff to be used uh, with solutions like Google, for example. But that's enough from me. Thank you so much for staying. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to Sarah to go on for the Q&A. Yes, thank you so much. What a, firstly, James, shout out to you. What an impressive demo. And thank you so much to our expert panelists who came in to provide uh, information and context on how their customer support teams are, are going global today. It is, as you can see, every there's a lot of similarities, right? But there's also a lot of uniqueness in customer support. And that's why Ultimate is built in a way to really configure uh, to your brand's needs and to provide a personalized experience to every single customer. So that's, that's so, so important. It was so interesting and exciting to hear your stories. So thank you.